Okay, it cut off on me. I was rambling. Um, all right, so this is part two. I, I want to continue this conversation. Um, I think what happened is I was so addicted to YouTube and all the wonderful things I was seeing out there and I just wanted to try everything. So I'm, I'm kind of like a jack of all trades and a master of none right now. Um, I have all these different supplies. Um, you know, I just think that I love to craft. I love to create. I love to make things. So everything I see inspires me and I want to create it. So I go get the tools. I order them. I get them. But then I don't really know what to do with them. So if anyone else out there is in this position, same as me, maybe we can figure this out. I don't know. I'd like to, I mean, I know that there are tutorials on, um, what is that thing called? I don't know what it's called. You know, the, the, um, now I don't have words, but anyway, the, uh, they do it and it's like a time thing and you go online and then you watch them create something. Um, I haven't tried those yet. I have done some card making things like with Simon Says Stamp. So I'm all over the place. I make cards, canvases. I love to alter things. Like I just was going crazy. I, mean, I just ordered corks. So because I, um, Cara at Art and Sassy had put up a cork video and then I just started watching. All, so I don't get the, I don't have the ideas. Other people come up with these ideas and then I take those and run with them. I like to create things so I take their ideas and then I, I almost I kind of copy but I don't have that creativity that they have like if you tell me what to do I can do it and I will do a great job but I can't really if I sat in front of it well I did I sat in front of this blank canvas and this is what I came up with and I mean it's not terrible I'm not saying that but I don't know. Maybe someone out there also feels my frustration. I'm just kind of not sure what my process is going to be. Maybe I have to back off from some of these things and stick with one thing for a while and just really focus on that. Um, like I said, I painted for years. I painted for 15, 17 years. Let me see if there's anything I painted around here. Um, this I painted. I mean, this is a very basic, um, let me see if there's a date on it. Sometimes that's from 2000. So, um, you know, this is just acrylic paint. Someone else designed it and then you actually trace it onto the piece and then there's just techniques. Um, let's see, I have, well, this is one of my, <laughs> Maxine Thomas is an artist that does this type of painting where she creates the um, the project. Let me see if I can put this on here. It's very big. I have my desk is full of stuff right now. Um, this is a door crown, and this is her. She's very country. So this is um, again, it's Maxine Thomas. What you do is you trace her pattern, her her design, her line work onto tracing paper. And then you, tr with graphite paper underneath, you trace that onto your piece, whatever you want to put it on. Um, and then you use the techniques that she teaches to apply the paint. And so it's acrylic paint, so you work with water and there's ways to get it to, to look the way it does. So you use different brushes and you use different techniques to get, like this shine, this is called dry brushing. And... I mean, I did this for years to where I got so good at it, where I actually taught for a while. And then it became work because it was like a job. It wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> and I needed something new. So, and I've dabbled in pretty much every craft there is. I mean, almost. I've done stained glass, which, I mean, I have... This is actually my polymer clay. I went to, um, oopsie, now my desk is really full of stuff. I went to, um, I think it was a bead fest. I've been to so many conventions and everything. Oops, there's me and there's my camera. Um, <laughs> I want to put something there. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm going to put the stamp there. 
but um, this is actually, these are all polymer clay tiles that I made. And then you put, um, what is this stuff called? But you put stamps into them. So that's how I actually started buying stamps because I was stamping them into the clay. And then you put these perfect pearls on there. So, um, you know, I'll just turn it this way. There, you see my shelf. But like then, and you also embed beads into it. So I was really into this. I took a class. So these are all um, stamps and then you just use the perfect pearls and this has, this peace sign has beads all embedded into it. And then what else? And I love this. Um, but then my husband said, it all looks the same. I don't know. I, <laughs> I like it. And it kind of, this one was my like more oriental one because I had these, this little oriental charm. And it, um, I just love them and the little girl and the little flip flops and the pagoda thing. And then these are just jewelry pieces that you embed into the clay. I did a couple of them, didn't I? Well, like here's a little um, hummingbird and then a, like a heart. And then this is like a little jewelry piece too. Um, this one too. Like this is just a, a background stamp really embedded into there. And then there's the, oh, there's a glare, sorry. But anyway, so I've done a million things. I wanted to show you my stained glass. I'm gonna go get that. Sorry, I'm taking up a bunch of time. But this is, my mom got sick about, well now it's almost, it's got, and we're on the second year since she passed, but I was doing glass and then when I needed to go be with her, I couldn't bring my glass with me. So I had to find something that I could do while I was hanging out with her. So I started doing um, canvas, plastic canvas, but anyway. He is actually a piece of wood that we would have painted because my husband cut me a bunch of wood that we would have painted on. But I had all these snowmen uh, from a class that I did. So I just took, this is all glass, and then I just put it on there and cut it and put, made my little snowman. So he's, it's a mosaic, I guess. So I did that. I was really, I really love mosaics. Oops, now I'm moving my camera. Sorry. Um, then this is a mirror, another mirror, hello, um, and I have a couple of big ones of these, um, I have them up in my house, which maybe I'll do a tour of my house, because I have so much nice stuff that I want to show, um, but this is just all cut glass that I, I made, I just, you just could draw it out, like you make a stencil with a piece of, like, cardboard or whatever, not cardboard, but whatever and I made all these petals and then just put them on there so I've done a little bit of everything as you can see but back to what I was talking about I really 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 wish somebody could help me with figuring out how to just I don't know stick with one thing and but like it's just fun for me right now to try everything because I don't know. I just love. Oh, see, look, there's stained glass up there. Oh, that's something I painted. But see, like I made those little stained glass things. Everywhere you look, there's painted stuff. Like I painted the that. I painted that. That's my granddaughter. That's actually fabric. Um, on top of this angel, and then you paint over it. I painted that clock. What else is painted? That's just Maya. I don't think there's anything else. And that's um, Maxine Thomas again. So you can tell like the different artists, like my house is pretty country because that was her style. So I think I'm gonna do one more video. I'm gonna show a few things in my house. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.